Okay, this is another NECA Predator review. Um, I know you've seen so many, but these guys are so great. I thought I'd do one for myself. I, as you can see, I've got them in my IKEA cabinet. Uh, the missus said, please don't get any more. And I just, I was just addicted to them. So uh, I'll just open this cabinet out now and the favorites are on the top. Uh, this is the first one I got, which is the Elder. The detail on this guy is just, he is just awesome. He's the first one, like I said, and because he was so good, that's when I started collecting him. He's got such cool dreads and the grey scaly body and he's got quite a few accessories he's got the old 1715 pistol there the spanish pilot pistol from the second movie with uh, mike harrigan running around which wasn't my favorite character but he did he did okay let's be honest but uh he was the wrong character in that movie this is my second favorite now this is uh guardian now, Guardian's got the goat mask and the, the elongated staff, which has got quite a bit of good detail on there. It's quite really good. Nice colours on his nice paint scheme on his body there. So, uh, another one of my favourites, who I didn't think I was going to like, but um, he's from the Keller line, which is Hive Wars. Now, this guy's just so compact and he's just so mean looking and maybe it's because he's blue. But um, I love his helmet as well, which is really silvery, and his weapon. But yeah, he's really cool as well. This guy is the Battle Damage Classic. Now, I wanted the Classic Predator, but which has got the shinier helmet. But um, he was going for Mega Bucks, so I got this guy instead, which he's got the crack mask. You can see his eyes around there. Uh, but he's exactly the same. He's, he's exactly the same body, and I thought, well, I don't really need the classic. Now I've got him. I might get the classic later on, but anyway, he's a great character. Over in the corner, I didn't think I was going to like these cloaked ones, but that's City Hit City Hunter cloaked. And uh, what's really cool with this is um, you can't see him in the night time. He really is good up against the glass. So another great character there. Here we go down now to the second level, and this is the Shaman. Now the Shaman, the paint scheme on the Shaman is a, it's a lovely, well I don't really know how to explain it, but it's such different from the other characters, that that's why he's unique. He's got the, the long dreads and the staff, and uh, he looks more of a, I would say a peaceful predator, but um, well, none of them look peaceful, but you know what I mean. Uh, now the one in the middle, Snake, short dreads, he looks just a badass. I might have to put him up to the top level actually. Uh, he's got the short staff there, the body armour and the disc there. But he's really hard looking. And uh, yeah, so he's good. Uh, the one on the front here was really difficult to get. He's the Gort Predator. Now, this was the prototype mask for the Arnie original film, which was one of the greatest movies ever made. Um, they changed it because it was too much like the uh, the reptile underneath, or the alien, I should say, underneath. So they went for the smoother mask. But as you can see, he's just got the classic body, and he's got the human skull there. Uh, yeah, but he's great as well. In the corner... Now, I think the colour scheme on Falcon is not brilliant, but it's his mask. His mask is uh, really stands out. He's got that nice copper sheen to it. Yeah, but he's got the wrist blade there, so he was uh, he was good in the movie Predators. So yeah, I like him. Now the one in the corner, the City Hunter, masked. Um, he was really difficult to get hold of. Uh, I picked him up from Germany, actually. I had him quite cheap because he didn't come with the accessories. Um, to be honest, when he did come, I was uh, I was a little bit disappointed with him because I thought, what was all the fuss about? But I think, it's again, it's the mask, the lovely coppery colour on the mask. Anyway, that's City Hunter.
Down again, you know, and this is City Hunter Unmasked, who looks like he's going to throw in the Olympics, but uh, it's nice to put these predators in different uh, shapes and different body movements because they all look great. The paint scheme on his head was a little bit disappointed, uh, but yeah, he's, he's okay. Now, the one in the corner is Wasp with the um, alien xenomorph on the, on the spear. He's, he's great because he's a yellow and black. He's different, different color, different mask, bit transformer mask, but yeah, he's great. Don't turn the staff around the other way because it looks rude, but we won't go into that. Uh, the middle one. Now, this is the classic unmasked. He was the last one I got. I thought I had to get him. Um, so he's down in the middle there. He's from the original movie. Nothing special, but, you know, you've got to have him. Uh, this one, the boar. I really like this guy. He's The paint scheme on him is different. The mask, you've got that different sort of uh, mask on him there. Same as the stalker, I think. And he comes with a disc and... Uh, you know, he's got a great pose there, so I like him. Now, the one in the corner, Viper. Now, he came with a Transformer like Darth Vader helmet, and I put it on him. Well, he's unique because he's one of the only ones that you can put the mask on and off. But I managed to snap the talons on his, um, well, the, the uh, teeth. So I glue that back on, and I think he looks better without the mask, so... Yeah, he's growing on me. I like the red wrist blades on him. and So he's pretty cool as well. So coming down again now. Hope I'm not boring you, but these figures are just awesome. Uh, this is the Berserker from the original Predators movie, who's in that movie is just a badass. He's just trouble. Paint scheme on him, the most negative thing I could say about him is he does look like a toy, uh, which is why I've got him down the bottom, but different uh, features there, so that's him. The one in the centre, now that's Stalker, love the colour on him, he's got that sort of brown sort of skin with the cream, and he comes with the uh, short sphere and the, the mask there which is the same as the board, as I said earlier, and the disc. So he's great. Now this guy here, this is the water emergence where, from the original Predator movie, where he comes out of the water after Annie, which is a great scene in the movie. And um, I think they've done a pretty good job on this guy. You can see the blue sparks of electric from the uh, cloaks there. And... Um, He's, he's got like quite a shiny helmet there, so uh, I really like him. The one in the corner from the Predators movie, he's a uh, tracker. Tracker, uh, you've got to be careful with him. The tusks don't snap when you take them out of the, the box. Now, I've kept the boxes up with these figures because you never know, I might move them on in the future. Boxes are always handy, but they are so good. They are literally better to be shown off. As I got them here, they're great. Uh, now, the last one over here, which is um, Berserker Mid Cloak, and he comes with the backdrop there. And I mean, the backdrop's not brilliant, it's just card, but yeah, can you see him? <laughs> anyway, he, he is quite, he is good. He's growing on me, actually, but um, I might have to get the, uh, the other cloaked classic if I can hide it from the missus. Anyway, these. Uh, these are my figures, really addictive, like we said. Um, I'd get another cabinet and put the put more in there if I could, but you know, you can get more, you can get the Keller line, you know, the lava and whatnot, and the Ahab and the Fire and Stone and the Big Red. But these are my favourites, and um, a big shout out to um, Out of the Box Reviews from Over the Pond as well. He was so knowledgeable on these... Uh, figures and every time I was going to buy one I just watched one of his uh, YouTube videos and yeah he just made me want to go and buy him so big thanks to him so any anyway, catch you catch you later guys bye